We are Dave and Patty West, and we are with the Gospel Mission of South America. And our ministry is to help our mission start a school of ministry for nationals in Chivicoy, Argentina. I grew up in a home, um, a military home, and I was what is classically called a military brat. We didn't go to church, so I didn't come to know the Lord until I was 23 years old. I was born into a Christian home. My parents were missionaries with what was call, is called the Continental Baptist Missions. I heard the gospel from the time I was very young and asked the Lord to be my savior when I was a very young child. Later on, I went to Bible college in Iowa at Faith Baptist Bible College and got my nursing and my Bible degree. And then I went back home to help my parents in their ministry in California and I met Dave at his inspiration. Patty and I dated for about two and a half years before I popped the question. And shortly after we married in 1987, we moved to Wisconsin so that I could attend Bible College at Northland Baptist Bible College. After graduation, we went to Detroit to attend seminary. And then I spent, uh, we spent eight and a half years in Hawaii as uh, in pastoral ministry. After we left Hawaii, we were in seven and a half years in Wisconsin. And we, so I served as a pastor there as well. When I was 12 and went to camp, I made the decision that Whatever God wanted me to do, wherever he wanted me to do it, and whenever, that's what I would do. Dave made the same decision when he asked Christ to be his Savior. And that has been our theme through our married life. And now with going to Argentina, we just continue that same theme. And because we're going there, and it being Latin America, we have to learn the Spanish language. And so our mission, Gospel Mission of South America, utilizes Rio Grande Bible Institute to teach its missionaries the Spanish language and the Latin culture. So we are here learning Spanish, but God, who's the great multitasker, is teaching us many things in many areas of our lives. After language school, our next task is to finish raising our support in order to go to Argentina. And when we get to Argentina, we'll be able to help set up the establishment uh, to acquire faculty so we can begin training nationals for ministry. The ministry in Chivicoy is uh, very important. It's important to the future of the ministry that the GMSA is doing in Argentina, Chile, and Uruguay and taking the next step of training the next generation of ministers for, for ministry. At present, there are not uh, many training institutions available uh, except to the uh, Bible Institutes. So this ministry of a four-year uh, bachelor level uh, program is a brand new start from scratch ministry. There is, um, there is no college uh, of ministry, so, uh, so to speak, in Argentina uh, through our mission presently. So this is a brand spanking new ministry. At this stage, it's mostly planning and brainstorming. There is no formal structure for the school. There are no students. Um, there are no. There's no administration yet. Right now, I'm 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 the facilitator for all those different aspects. So my job is to help pull the administration, uh, finances, program, pull all that together and build the team that's going to help produce that. And so the future to us, the key to the future is training the nationals. So we see this as an extremely important ministry and a fresh start. So we're very excited about that and uh, we're looking forward to seeing how the Lord is going to cause it to be produced. We stay in touch with our uh, following uh, supporters through uh, the mission's website at gmsa.org and we also have a Facebook page, West to Argentina, where we can be contacted and where you can find information about our ministry. And so we're very thankful for the opportunity to share a little bit about this work and about what the Lord is doing here at RGBI. Father, we're grateful for the opportunity to be able to serve you. We're grateful, Lord, for all the things that you do uh, to help us to be uh, fit servants, uh, whether it be ministry experience uh, in the past, uh, our training uh, and, and education, or uh, being uh, here at language school learning to speak the Spanish language. Everything we learn academically is second to what you try to teach us spiritually. And so, Lord, we're, we're very anxious and very, um, very needy of your work in our lives. Just pray that you bless us and, uh, Lord, bless the, um, the work that you're, you're doing, the work of your hands as you're working through the students and through the future missionaries, and, Lord, working in our lives as well. And we thank you for all the, the people that you use and bring across our path to help to shape us and to form us and to inspire us as well. And so we'd ask, Lord, that you just continue to bless us and continue to um, let, give fruit to, uh, to this work. 
And Lord, we're, we're grateful. We ask you a blessing in Christ's name.